Hello everyone and welcome to today's demo going over the CMS functionality of LifeRate Portal Technology. I'm Megan Souza, Marketing Manager here with Dunn Solutions. So I'll be taking you through adding a carousel page which includes adding text and images, creating a new landing page for our website, creating content for that landing page, and then linking it back to the carousel page that we created. So let's get started. I am going to add a carousel page to this beautiful carousel that we've got here. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and go into the back end. I went ahead and logged in with my administrative password and login. And I'm going to go over to content, which is where we keep everything that we'll be adding or editing um, to our website. I will be browsing by structure to go ahead and find our carousel content, which I've got here. As you can see, um, these are the many different pages that we've got in our carousel. And I'm go going to go ahead and get started by adding another page. We're going to call this page Mobile Application Development. The carousel allows some subtitle text to give a little bit of a description. So I'm going to say, here we go. And then there is going to be a button defaulted to every carousel page. So it can go ahead and take you to the landing page that I will create soon. So we're going to say learn more there. So when somebody follows that button, it'll take them to the new landing page. I'll go ahead and select the different images that we want. Went ahead and uploaded those. All right, so now that I've added all of that content, I just want to publish it to the website. And let's go double check what I've added. So as you can see, we now have five pages. If we scroll down here to the end, this is our new page. So this button is going to link back to the web page, the landing page that I'm going to create now, going to pages under the site administration. So I'm going into the back end of our website here where our pages live. And I want this page to live under application development. So with that header clicked, I'm going to say add child page. I'm going to call this mobile application development services. And this is the um, template that we want here, this two columns, 30, 70. And we'll go ahead and say add page. So now we've got our new URL here for the page that we've created in the back end. And let's go ahead and add this to our Done Solutions URL so you can see the page that we've just created. As you can see, it's a blank page right now because we haven't chosen any content to live on this page. So let's go create that content. So I'm going to say add basic web content. The title is going to be Mobile Application Development Services. And there we've got our content. Go ahead and separate these items out. We also want to add a picture. So we're going to say, I, I want it to live next to this list here. I'm going to browse our server for the image that I want and go through our library to choose where I want that to live. go. Upload that picture to the library. And there we've got our image. I'm going to say align that to the right. Okay. 
and I want this main header to be the same. I'm going to publish that piece of content. And since that was an intro section, I'm going to create one more section beneath that, which will have further information. So I'm going to call this section Enterprise Mobile Applications. And there's our second set of content. So let's go back to our page and start setting it up with the content that we've created. I want to make sure that you can see the edit controls. And then we're going to say add. We're going under the content title. And here's our first section, Mobile Application Development Services, the content I just created. Let's say we want to have the breadcrumb that lets you go back to each page that you were previously at. You can go ahead and search that. We can add that. We want to change the look and feel. That looks a little bit more normal with clickable links back to where you came from. And there's a second section down here that we wanted to add the rest of the content to. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going back under the content tab. And this is our second level. You can go ahead and drag. And there we go. Look and feel. Do not show the borders. So there's our second level of content. I also want to add a contact us form because you always want to have some way for them to contact you on the page. So let's go ahead and add that as well. And put that at the very bottom here. Remove the borders on that as well. All right, so we've got now our new mobile application development services page. Let's add that to our carousel. So we've got this um, empty learn more button here. We'll go back into content. Go back to our carousel. And scroll down to that last page of the carousel. and choose the page that we've created. So I'd also like to make a point here that um, while we can publish this to be live on the site immediately, we do also have an option to schedule this post to go live when we want it to. So if we wanted our post to be like, for example, Black Friday, then you would give an expiration date of Saturday morning at midnight or something and then you could immediately have the post come down. Same goes for having it go up whenever you want it to be ready. Okay, but we're not going to do that for this example, so we're just going to go ahead and publish as is. Go back to the website. And now we can click our live link to our new page. And that's how you can edit content and add a new landing page. As you can see, adding pages, images, and modifying navigation in LifeRay can be quick and easy. In about nine minutes, you saw me modify our carousel, add new content, and navigation to support an additional service offering. Thank you all for watching today. I hope you found this helpful.